Would you like to support Cubs Out Loud? One way is to join us over on Patreon. For as little as a buck a month, patrons get early access to our shows, the pre and post show, and various other rewards. You can learn more at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud. Thanks to all of our patrons for their support in making this podcast. Sunday, March 10th, 2024. I'm Jeff. Who's your bear? That's right. I am your bear. I'm Damon. I don't brew the tea. I just serve it. And that makes me Gary. Everyone else is thinking it, and I just say it. And welcome to Cubs Out Loud, the Bear Podcast, the Ben Eternal Links, episode number 732. Uh, and I'm not wearing my teeth. <laughs> Just get that off, off, get that out the gate. Just. I mean, I've been calling this episode the toothless edition. And it's funny that you say that because we were talking about Dean Dubois. Dubois? Shit. Dean Dubois? <laughs> yeah, in the, in the pre-show. It's funny. I'm not, I don't have my teeth in and I pronounce his name better than you did. <laughs> I just literally just forgot, <laughs> forgot his name for a second. <laughs> I started thinking about him and I got really distracted mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay uh also just to, to to talk about the elephant in the room i know i said it's the 10th why wasn't it back on the third 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 <laughs> well it's because i didn't have any internet and i was sick I had so something. Two two out of three hosts were completely out and you had a you had a thing to get ready for the next day that yeah. you really kinda needed to focus your time on. So Yeah. Yeah. So you kinda got a bonus. You could have lived if we had done the show, but it would have been better if we didn't. So we didn't. Yeah. Besides the Well, we couldn't have done we the had show somebody who was sick and one didn't have internet, which was the impetus of the I mean, that's the more it. important thing. Like, yeah. you, 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 you not having internet means we can't really do the show. There we go. This show. Yeah. This show where we do this. Can anybody guess? where I uh, 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 took my title from. It sounds familiar, but I cannot recall. King oh, Arthur. Future King. Oh, okay. The book Future about King, King Arthur. Uh, so uh, my job, um, pretty early last month, Maybe it was halfway through. I don't remember exactly when. Uh, but uh, we ended up suddenly not having anything to do. The client said, hey, we're giving all, all your duties except this one little thing, which only like five of you need to be doing right now. Mm-hmm. We're giving all the rest of the stuff to somebody else. You, you don't do it effective on whatever Monday it was that uh, was effective. So, we did our, our regular job and work, 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 work on Sunday. Then I had the weekend. And then on Wednesday, I came in and watched YouTube videos all day. Okay. Now, the plus side is they already have an idea of what they want us to do. The only thing is that because of contract negotiations, they haven't actually 
you know, written it down so we know what we're going to be doing. But in the meantime, because we're not actually assigned to do it because the whole, like, paperwork isn't completed. Mm -hmm. Twiddle thumbs. Watch YouTube all day. I mean, at least you're getting, I'm, I'm assuming you're getting paid. Yes, we are getting paid. I still need to go to the office and be there. Because really, we yes. don't know when all everything ends up rolling down to to do everything um, is actually going to happen. So we still need to be there for when it happens, for when the shit goes down. And then they went from the fact that since we weren't doing anything, we really didn't need everybody to be here till mid there till midnight. So I went from the three to twelve shift that they they ended up putting me on. Back to mm -hmm. my seven to four. And this was like okay. two weeks, three weeks after we did the original schedule switch. Mm -hmm. So that was, that's why it's like one week we were doing a day show. Did we do that once or twice? We did it for a month. Oh, we did do it for a couple of months. And then here here we are back in the evenings. In fact, all the episodes we're going to discuss today were all done as morning shows. There you have it. That 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 can show you the timeline. But for like a week or so there, uh, I was still doing my midnight show. So, no. Till the end of the month. There we go. Well, there. So that was kind of awkward. But fortunately, with the new roles that they're going to have our team do, uh, mm -hmm. we're going to need to train the people how to do said jobs. Mm -hmm. I'm the only one from the original team that was a trainer. Guess who gets to do all that? I was just going to say. Guess who's the default? And we're going to be growing again. We went from our, our group used to be doing multiple different workflows of like 140 people down to like 30. Mm. Now we're going to go back. Because I believe it's going to be a total of like three different workflows that we're going to be be doing. Uh, and it just happens that one of those workflows I was already a trainer for. So I have a little jump up ahead, ahead on that. So, although there's probably been some changes since we were last working on that. So I need to catch up and change things or... You know, update my rhetoric, and which means I'll be back training. Which also means that my temporary teeth, I need to work on getting into like more permanent teeth so that I can easily be properly teaching and not having a lisp. Mm. And I was really, really bad and should have done it about a month or two ago. Of just making the appointment <laughs> to go in, get my adjustments, and maybe start the process. Plus side, I did to, for tomorrow. <laughs> At 10.30, I'll be going in for an alignment. I'm hoping I'm going to go in and be like, oh, hey, it looks like you're ready to, to switch on over to your uh, permanent teeth. So we'll... we'll, we'll do the molding and, and getting that set up to, to get your permanent teeth. Neat. In the meantime, cool. we'll adjust these to make these much more comfortable and, and fit better. Uh, fortunately, there are, they fit well enough that I can't really have them in like all the time during the day, but when I need to eat or have a conversation uh, I can put them in. That was why for a while there, you probably saw me go off camera. 
back on and then off and back on and actually start talking and then off back on. Um, and because most of the time when I'm, especially when, when I'm home playing video games, I don't really need to talk to anybody. I have a mouth or something like that. So, uh, my lifestyle worked okay with it, but I do need to get on with getting through this whole process taken care of. So I have that. In the meantime, my parents are in town. Mm. And of course they want to see me. I would hope so. So you're going to meet them for dinner? Not tonight. Tomorrow. But another night. Cool. I said, hey, I'm busy. I can't can't do anything today, today or tomorrow. I've been doing this thing mm. for like years and years and years and years, and mm -hmm. it just hasn't stopped. Yeah, so and, I, and I couldn't do it yesterday when they came into town because I already had, had a game that we've been doing every couple of weeks, every two weeks for Got it. maybe two years now. Wow. So I'm like, look, I have a life. How, how, how much of a life you might, might call it, but I have a life. I got things I'm doing. You're not interested in it. And honestly, I don't feel the need to see my parents. Not that I don't like them. Since every time I'm around them, they find something to criticize. They tell, tell me, hey, have you done this? Have I done this? And then I say, say no or lie and say, well, yes, I have. Um, just so they don't start nagging me about something. Hey, can we see your apartment? And I'm going to be like, no. You don't need to see my apartment. Just it basically then they start criticizing me and I feel very a lot of shame. Which not to say that there are some things that I do wrong and I'm not great at that I'm not already that I don't already have shame for without their help. And I just don't want them to deal with that. So well, hopefully tomorrow we'll get my teeth in, in order to, to at least fit better. So then I can go have dinner and my parents want to go to, or my mom at least. I'm not really sure if my dad really wants to <laughs> uh, go to the outlet mall or something like that and have a little bit of an outing. I haven't seen them in several years, so. But, you know, just... Personally, for me, I don't really feel the need to do it, but hey. This is what happens being a child and dealing with your parents is like. Especially at the age of 43, when your beard is practically entirely white. I still got some salt, more salt pepper right now. Damon? Well, with that, um, so February was kind of, well, mostly busy. Um, but the big thing was I went to, I went to North American Bear Weekend. Um, uh, I've been going to that for years now. Um, this was my first time going as a title holder, which was rather interesting. I will I will say that it's an interesting perspective on how people interact with you, how the contestants interact with you, how um, um, the general vibe, as it were. Now, don't get me wrong. I wasn't like walking around every day with like my soul and like my best and all this stuff on and like making making grand gestures about it, but. Um, the one thing about NAB, which we've talked about on the show before, is that the contestants don't know who the judges are until Saturday morning during interviews. So anyone and anybody can be a, a judge for the contest. But you should particularly pay attention to title holders um, because more than likely there's a possibility that they will be a judge because... They're a title holder kind of thing. So it's something to think about. Um, 
I did go down um, to the so on Friday and Saturday they sell um, raffle tickets. Um, yeah, they sell raffle tickets. So they're the idea being that they're supposed to engage with the judges, um, and they have the potential to lose points if they don't. So um, I knew that because I've done this contest before. So I intentionally kind of went down with the intent of being there to kind of keep an eye on things. So it was kind of fun. Um, I had a great time. I enjoyed some of the different events that were going on. Um, uh, one of the highlights for me was they did a um, minorities in bear and leather communities um, kind of roundtable panel discussion. Um, and it was just, it was a group of people uh, of different, you know, genders and um, nationalities um, that essentially were able to speak on the good and the not so good about being those things in these communities, the bear and letter community. And as someone who is a minority in the bear and letter communities, I felt it was very important to be a part of that. And um, I'm glad I was able to listen. There was some very, it was a very engaging conversation. Um, a little longer than I was planning. Um, we They were supposed to go through, I think the panel, um, the panelists had 27 questions that they were presented with before, like as part of the panel, um, the moderators gave them like 27 questions to talk on. They only got through like a couple before um, we ended up having to go through like Q and A, we did a Q and A. So, but it was good to have that perspective. Uh, I, and I also believe some of the quest further questions were probably answered by the conversations that were being had. So all in all, good time, great event, um, great weekend. Um, it's coming back next year. Um, one of the things that many might feel a thing about is um, Adam is stepping down as main producer for um, North American Bear Weekend. Um, he has decided to take a well-deserved break. Don't know if he'll be gone forever, but he is going to just take a back seat to the to things. Um, and um, Wayne Davis, who I think is over to Texas Bears in um, Dallas, um, is stepping in to help coordinate. Hmm. So that's a big thing. Um, another announcement that was made, which is more about World Bear Weekend, is... Um, World Bear Weekend, um, all of their titles have become genderless. So anyone can compete for um, any contest. You can compete for any title, essentially, which I think is kind of fun. Um, on the next side of things, um, February, uh, right before NAB, actually, um, Jim and I celebrated our 20th Valentine's Day. So Yay. we got together in, I was trying to do the um, the math or whatever really quickly. We con con started our relationship in June 2003. So you go, our first Valentine's Day would have been technically February 2004. And then mm -hmm. 20 years from that, here we are. Um, Congratulations on 20 VDs. There you go. <laughs> I get that ah, yeah. Um, but it was it was it was actually because we were literally heading into I think the Thursday we were going to NAB. Um, we had a low key um, dinner. I don't even think we went out. No, we went somewhere. Anyway, I feel like we went somewhere. Maybe we didn't. It doesn't matter. Um, I fortunately didn't have, because it was a Wednesday, I didn't have rehearsal because it had gotten canceled. So I was just able to, we were just able to enjoy each other. And it was very low key, which is kind of what it's become sometimes. It's not all of the big, big things anymore. Just the simple things I did. Um, 
I found a really nice like wooden card on Amazon that I thought was very cute. Um, wooden card? Yeah, it was. It's made of wood. It was well, it's wood and probably wooden paper. So I'll have to see if I can. I think he still has it over at his um, table in the um, um, living room. So you I do mean, know paper is made of wood, right? Yes, I'm aware. But this is also, but this is different. Anyway, but yeah. So that was our. That was me going through all the things. Gary? Um, so, yeah. Up, down, and back again. Um, February was kind of all over the place. Um, it was pretty busy. So the, the thing with being sick last weekend... Um, no one's probably surprised by this if you've been listening before. I work in public health. And so since coming into this field, I've like been working slowly. And I say slowly because it's been a couple of years, although we all lost a year because of 2020. Um, <laughs> I've been making sure that I get all my vaccinations. Um, and some of them you qualify for with certain age. And uh, so I decided a couple months ago that I wanted to get my shingles vaccination shot done and that's a two dose regimen and that's like i think about six months apart or something um so anyways i was supposed to have my second shot and that was supposed to be the beginning of february and it got delayed due to a couple things and so i had it last saturday not yesterday but mm. a week ago and then my immune system did what it's supposed to <laughs> Which made my body feel like, fuck you. So <laughs> there was that. Um, Damon well knows because I did, we did end up recording a COLDR and yes. politely didn't say anything, I think, until we were done recording. And then, like, after we were not recording anymore, not even on post show, <laughs> Damon was like, I knew something was up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was I was in my comfy. I was like trying so hard to like just get through. <laughs> so there's that. Yeah. Um I ended up taking Monday off from work as an extra That's recovery right. day because yeah. I basically lost an entire day because I spent all of Sunday pretty much in bed except for when I was like <laughs> recording. recording with you, David, and then like, you know, editing the little bit and then uploading and stuff. I was just like, nope, that's not happening. Yeah. You're um, like, I'm just gonna I'm gonna drag myself to the computer, get up right and do the things and then be done. Basically. I mean it was and um yeah. I I was talking to my boss about it. I said, um, I haven't been sick since I got COVID in September of twenty two when I was on vacation. And that was a little different because I got on Paxlovid like pretty fast. Yeah. Um, but prior to that, I don't think I've, I've been sick since before the pandemic. Like it's been years. Mm. So it, like, I just was like, I forgot what it was like to be miserable and <laughs> not feeling well. So, right. and then I was like, oh no, like if I had a partner, would I be that person right now who was just like intolerable? And then what I realized is what my boss was, I was like, no, I probably would tell them to be like, just leave me alone. <laughs> like, just don't come around. <laughs> just leave, leave me to myself. I'll be fine. I just have to get through this. Yeah. I so just, anyways, I, yeah. There's that. Yeah. Um, in other news, found out on Friday when we had our quarterly call with the state uh, for the grant that I'm under that uh, most likely we're going to have another renewal for another year, which means um, my job position technically does not end halfway through this year. I have another year. <laughs> Yay. Yay. So. For job security. Yeah. Well, you know, it's one of those things. Like, <laughs> I've kind of known since I started this job that it was grant funded. And it's like, well, the grant goes away. So does the job. Um, although I'm at a point now where I'm pretty sure, like, they would want to retain me in some fashion if I made another position. I just don't. I'm not really, you know, looking to do something different. So anyways, that's a whole right. thing. So there's that. Uh, yeah. And the new vehicle's working out. Got an inspection did that thing, had to go through notary, get my specialty plate re 
and then titled and all that kind of stuff was going to put it on the car this weekend. Um, it rained all day Saturday and then it snowed today. <laughs> Legitimately, there is like half an inch to an inch of snow on the ground outside right now. Wow. Yeah. So that's been the thing. Like I will own, like I've not, I got sick after um, NAB, but not sick, sick. Like I didn't have a fever. I just was really congested and um, like very like allergies, like eyes watery, throat, you know, you know, feeling, you know, cruddy because of all the drainage. Um, and I believe it was because when we started in a B, it was in the 60s. So on Thursday, it was in the 60s. On Friday, it was in the 30s and snowed. Um, on Saturday, it was in the 40s. And then it stayed kind of there on Sunday. And then mm -hmm. I came back here on Sunday, and it was still in the, like, 40s. And then two days, a day or two later here, I think the, the temperature shot up to, like, 60, 70, 80. It was, it was warm. Mm -hmm. So I'm feeling like all of the weather shifting and everything just fuck with my my body. Um, and like today, it's not been so bad, but um, I was at Friends yesterday gaming and they have cats and I'm allergic to cats. And I do all the things that I normally do. I take a 24-hour um, a allergy pill and I have some Flonase or, you know, generic Flonase. I do all of those things. Um, but today I'm just got this drainage mm -hmm. and stuffiness that, yeah. And I was, I was feeling warm earlier and I'm like, I asked Jim, like, am I warm? And he goes, yeah. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I took my temperature. I don't have a temperature. So it's just this bullshit that just keeps on happening. Cause welcome to, well, it's not even spring yet. Fuck. Well, I was just going to say, though, like for those of us in the Northeast, like it's been a yo-yo effect of, of late with the weather. Like, you know, oh, like it's not just you guys. Well, <laughs> I was not going to speak for Texas because I don't live there. But for our region, like it's just been all over the place, like since, well, probably what after halfway through January going into February, mm -hmm. it has been anywhere from the 30s up to the 70s. Like and it just keeps. Yeah. <sighs> Going all over going. the place. Yeah. Um, and I think that that, you know, <laughs> this thing called global warming climate change, people, yeah. like it's just kind of doing a number on folks. And I, you know, and I think if you are an individual who's physically affected by barometric pressure, that also doesn't help. Mm -hmm. help I mean, so. I, I was, I was going to say, say, going on an old man rant here again. Old um, man rant. It's definitely an old man thing, I think. Because I, 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 it seems like within the past couple of years, whenever there has been this drastic change of temperatures, is when, like, my body is like, what the fuck? And you get all cruddy. <laughs> and I don't remember ever really having that type of situation when I was a kid. And I don't know if it's I'm growing old. <laughs> I mean, I'm already 80 in gay years. And so it, it's like, is it I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to really get into the, the middle age oldness of it all and now my body is deciding that it wants to that it hates me every time that the weather has to do these big changes or is it climate change or both if I, if I was 20 right now would I have the same problem mm. I feel it's because I'm old <laughs> and if that's not true that's okay yeah, I don't know what it is. Yeah, um, I mean, that's a fair point, Jeff. Like, I think <clears throat> as we age, our human bodies also modify and change with age. 
and they don't have the resiliency that they did at one time. I was just talking with someone about this recently at work about how when we were in our 20s, we would do stupid shit like we would, you know, work a 12 or 14 hour day and then we'd like go home, like do a quick shower change, put on the club clothes, go out dancing, right. drinking, get your party on, then go to the late night grub place, eat some greasy food, like hang out, come home when the sun's coming up, lay down, sleep for half an hour, get up, put the old clothes on that you had the previous day and go back to work. Like, and that was just the cycle like it's just what you did and now and now that we're older we're like oh no 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 no. like when people say they're going out they're like oh we're gonna be in a tad and you're like tad oh baby no i I don't leave the house like i don't in fact i might already be in bed like (laughs) and let's be part of it's because your body's like no i wish i had my soundboard (laughs) my clips is what the fuck you think you're doing here like like, that's not a thing anymore you know your body can't take it um, so Cincinnati Leather has the, has events on Friday nights every now and then. And yes, this, there was one this past Friday and I really wanted to go, but I was looking at the count, like looking at the thing, the, the, the time they started at eight ish, um, looking at what was going on, looking at what I, I, I literally had to work until like six o'clock. Um, so I had to have dinner and then I would have to go to the, go to the thing. And then I had to be up, um, at like eight 30 on Saturday morning because we had stuff to do on Saturday for most of the day. It's like, yeah, um, no, I, I can't be, I can't go out on a Friday night, drink, whatever, do all the things. And then try to get up Saturday morning at like 8.30. That's just not going to happen. It's just not. Be out till like well midnight or later right? and try, and try to get up like five, six hours early. Now, could I, 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 could, I did it during NAB and that was a stretch. I was learning. So, hey, everybody, backtracking to what we were talking about. Um, going to bed at one, two in the morning, sometimes later, and trying to get up at nine, ten the following day during a bear run. Not for me, mama. It was it was it was fine. It worked, but I was realizing very quickly I was getting tired very early on. Um I didn't take a nap. But I, I, I could I knew if I could I could have felt one go could have gotten one. And would have been fine. Oh, let me miss all this other shit. Let me just go take a nap <laughs> for two hours. <laughs> when, when or you, worse yet. When was it that you learned to appreciate naps? That's a good question. Well, it's individual I, for everyone because mm. I'm not really a nap person. Mm. Yeah. Like if I take a nap, I want to sleep a solid like hour and a half cycle so this business with like 20 30 minutes fuck that shit like it it makes me so grumpy and like intolerable and cranky and even more tired so that's why i don't really do naps but you i will say this though the you know our naps right well but if i end up taking a nap it's because my dumb ass like the past night fell asleep without putting my CPAP mask on. So then when you wake up the next day, like your throat's dry, scratchy, your sinuses are a mess. Like if you're just dog ass tired. <laughs> so then you say to yourself, well, you dumb ass, you're probably going to have to take a nap now. Cause you got poor sleep the night before. Mm. So I... it, it's, it's one of those, like, and actually I didn't do that today. I seriously, like after I get up and I was super groggy and like super like pissy and mad about myself and all that, mm-hmm. I was like, about a half an hour later, after a little caffeine, I was like, oh, I could probably take a nap like to help and actually put the damn CPAP on this time because mm-hmm. that has helped me in the past. And then I realized, nope, because she took caffeine and I'm one of those people that's – I don't want to say sensitive, but I guess that's the right word. Like I don't need much mm-hmm. like other people who like drink it on the regular and have like bigger quantities. Like I don't know how their bodies even function because yeah, – like, right. So – so anyways, I didn't get a nap today is what I'm saying because like I was wide awake. Yeah. I had to 
um, it was for me, it was about my mid to late 30s that I appreciated the naps because um, what I didn't, what I know now was I was suffering from sleep apnea, so I wasn't getting a lot of sleep at night. So I appreciated the nap during the day uh, because I needed that nap. Um, But even now, Every now and then, um, I'm enjoying the nap. I'm enjoying the, the, I can do the 20, you know, 15, 20 minute nap and be okay. Mm. Um, but it's, if I were to do longer, I will say that's like kind of, I'm the opposite of Gary. I can't. I can do short naps, but I cannot do long naps. If I'm in a nap, quote unquote, for or sleeping for like an hour, I'm. You might as well just go go to bed. I should just because <laughs> I will wake up groggy and because your your body go. My body go will go to sleep. Sleep. It won't be a nap. It'll be a sleep. So, mm. but I'm also. I also typically don't do. Um, uh, I don't nap with my CPAP on, which is probably why shouldn't do them for long periods of time. Anywho, shall we continue as we've gone down this rabbit hole of ages? <laughs> so anyways, I'm just happy to say that like February is a month that was kind of around and about and here and there. And 